Caddis Maximus here. This time it's a quick review, more so of the Irwin Impact Performance Series. This is their th three jaw bit chuck. It's the best way to describe it. A long time ago, more than a year ago, I did a review that like True Value still has of these long Irwin extensions. And instead of using ball bearings, they use an interesting three jaw chuck design. And so this one was in this little three-piece bit set. I do appreciate that they make it easier to open these packages now where it's not glued just across the entire surface. So we can should be able to pop this open relatively easily here. Obviously, my knife could be a little bit sharper. That's interesting. Here's a quick look at the little bits, and they actually come in a little tray. Uh, this little set, I think, I excuse me, I did find on sale. It was $11, so it was a little bit expensive. I don't think their bits are too bad, but they have like uh, kind of an interesting geometry going on the front there. At least the uh, thumbnail is just going to have a picture of this thing because this is really what I'm after. And what's surprising is they just call it quick change extension. There's not really any information on the back. These things came out way back in like 2013 or something. I just haven't seen the impact ones. They didn't tend to be kind of expensive. So this is obviously a very large size bit holder. And it ought to be heavy duty with that much steel. This thing's almost an inch around. Here might be a comparison of more standard type bit holders. We have a DeWalt here and then we have my favorite, uh, which hasn't been made for quite a while. This is an AT&G. This happens to be a magnetic holder with a friction ring, so it holds the bits really well. Most of the modern ones, uh, like this DeWalt, are simply magnetic. And these are stainless steel. I never really understood why these holders were stainless steel. Both of them are the same way, but they just don't... Uh, maybe it was just the durability. Anyway, the, Derwin, the Irwin bit holder here, maybe I should get one of these bits is a pretty easy to use locking bit holder. You can use standard bits and you just push it in there. You can see how the collar locked in and it locks it in in using standard undercut bits, but it also works with one inch bits. And so that's why I always kind of I have always kind of liked these holders is because of that fact that it will work with a one inch bit. And really the fact that it holds super tight. In my experience, I've had a couple of these where they kind of get a little bit stuck, but it seems when you use them, uh, they loosen up a bit. I like the way you can just push it in. And so let me get a little bit of a brighter flashlight here. Let's go ahead and take a look inside here. Now you can get a better look. There's actually three little jaws. They're inside little undercuts. It's pretty darn difficult to see if I can just get the camera cooperate here and get just the right light you can see that undercut so this is a whole or excuse me this whole assembly here and I'm not exactly sure how they uh, managed to get this whole thing together but it is it's like a spring-loaded drill chuck almost where you have three teeth and when you're pushing in the bit uh, these those teeth are directly connected to the spring-loaded collar and as they push in they're cut in the little tapers going along those three angles. And then the spring tension just maintains a grip onto the bit. So I've always badmouthed a lot of Irwin's tools because they really have been kind of crummy, but I do like this interesting de design that they have for their locking bit holders. When you use it with undercut bits, there's no way they'll ever come out. They're held just unreasonably securely, to tell you the truth. But I just like the fact that it's a locking bit holder but instead of uh, a lot of these bit holders would just use little tiny ball bearings that try to sit in these divots, this is something that offers uh, three jaw truck, chuck style traction. And the whole point to these locking bit holders is if you happen to be working with a particular bits, I have a number three Phillips in here, where you're driving them in and for some reason the bit keeps on wanting to get stuck in the end of the fastener. That way you can yank it out with a uh, decent amount of force and then as we saw earlier it still has a magnetic I don't know if we can pick up one of these bits here we should see if I can even get one of them out of here so the magnet is not super strong I think that's a little bit disappointing they could have put a, a stronger magnet in there we can see or you can't see right now but we were able to see earlier that they did put a magnet in there it just is appears to be rather undersized maybe it's just so it'll hold it will hold the bit maybe that's just to make insertion easier or just when you 
retract the collar so that the bit doesn't want to fall out. And it is spring-loaded. That little magnet is on a spring mechanism, and I do like that as well. So when you release it, there's your bit, and it's pretty easy to go in and out of or take in and out of the collar. So I always kind of thought that these were, out of all the Irwin things, these are probably some of the uh, best little tools that they've made or that they do make currently. A lot of their stuff, you know, these bits seem to be pretty decent quality, uh, but so many of their auger bits and all that kind of stuff uh, just really has not been very good at all. But it's kind of nice to see that they had have a few things. Some people like their circular saw blades, but to tell you the truth, uh, I do like this impact locking bit extension. That's why I wanted to make a whole little video about it. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.